guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I am going to be doing a tour of my rat's triple critter nation. And as you can see, I've set it up for Valentine's Day. I've given it a sort of Valentine's Day theme. So we're going to go ahead and start with the top unit and work our way down. All these cages are connected. The top unit has a cutout in the right corner so the rats can get between the bottom and top units at will. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with the top unit. Uh, my rats are pretty tired because I just put them back and they spent some time exploring and now they're kind of just resting, except for Donut because she does not have an off switch, <laughs> but everyone else is resting. So we'll see if anyone gets up or if we'll just see them all being super sleepy and cute. First of all, we have a 12 inch Katie Comfort wheel. This one is mainly for my dwarf rats. I have two dwarfs in this group, so they like to use this wheel quite a bit. Uh, they use both wheels. I have another one in the cage. However, they like to use this one in particular, so I keep it in the cage mainly for them. The standard rats really don't use it because it's kind of just a little too small for them. Then we have another thing right next to it, this little water thingy. Uh, this is a bird food dish but it works really well as a water container for the rats because it has a hood so they can't really get stuff into it. Oh, hey, look, Olive has woken up. Hey, Olive. <laughs> of course, my oldest two rats have gotten up while everyone else is being really lazy. <laughs> okay, so anyways, moving into the inside bit, we have this upper space pod uh, piece, which is just kind of hanging from the top and it has some paper towel in it. In the back, we have a forging toy from Hotel Rats. They make some really cool 3D printed forging toys. Uh, and up front, we have a mini space pod. This is also mainly for the dwarfs. And it's resting on this cookie pan right here, uh, which just has a mix of Marshall's ferret litter and yesterday's news, the remainder uh, of that bedding that I have. Donut, what are you doing? Not very polite. Um, but anyways, like I said, that is the bedding I have here. So moving on to the rest of this, we have this little space pod, which contains one of the little dwarf girls. So that is Miss Toast. And it also has omelet and egg, which are two uh, of the standard girls, their sisters. And they are just uh, really chilling right now. So they're not going to come out. <laughs> oh my gosh. They love having space pods in the cage. They're so excited to have this one up here again because it's been a few weeks. I like to rearrange the cage so there's not always the same stuff in the same place. Okay, so down here we have this U-shaped sink organizer. I got this from a thrift store a few years back and the rats absolutely love it. And it's also really great for hanging hammocks. I have one hammock here and one here. These are just made from pre-cut felt from Michaels. You can get like 36 pieces of felt for like $9. It's crazy. And they're all the perfect size for rat hammocks. So I just hang them up with these little C-clips, which you can find on Amazon. Uh, so I use the C-clips for quite a few things, as you can see, that even help hold up the shelf on the side. Now under the two hammocks, we have a Rodney Space Igloo, which is that pink thing right there. And then we have this little box, which I covered in tissue paper, alongside another box that I covered in tissue paper. I'm just trying to give it more of a festive theme. Uh, Miss Donut is trying to <laughs> escape again. Donut, can't you just be happy exploring around here? She says, no. Sure, I have this whole area to explore, but no, I'm just gonna climb out. <laughs> okay, but anyways, down here we have two boxes covered in more tissue paper. One has a bag stuffed in it, and that's because my rats really like chewing up those sorts of paper bags. And then next to it, we have this bowl of Oxbow, and it has just a little bit of tissue paper again taped onto it. Uh, and that is, I think, pretty much it. Oh, nope, I missed something. So right here we have a lava ledge and then a food bowl, and this has some tissue paper on it as well. Uh, and then this food bowl actually comes from Ratty Box, which is a rat subscription service. Uh, and then I have this little bottle right here. As you can see, I have taped on some hearts. So clearly it's Valentine's Day themed, even though it's blue. Couldn't do much about this lava ledge, but uh, there it is. <laughs> and then over here, we have two water bottles. These are four ounce Oasis water bottles. And the rats really like these. So that's pretty much it for this top unit here. So let's go ahead and look at some of the bottom units. Oh, there's Blueberry. Hello, Miss Blueberry. Finally, we have a rat who's not on the older side awake. Oh my gosh, Olive, Olive, really, really Olive. She's doing an escape again. Don't do that, Olive. Oh my god, Blueberry, what the heck? Uh, even with three rats awake, it's just absolute craziness. You'd think that with three out of eight, it wouldn't be too bad, but nope. These ones are the mischief makers in the group. Really, Donut? Donut, I see you. I see you over there doing that. <laughs> oh my god, Blueberry's right under me. Don't do that. Olive! You can tell that the cages usually aren't open for them to climb up during playtime because they are really taking full opportunities here. Don't do it, Blueberry. Don't do it. 
Okay, so moving on to this bottom unit here. First of all, you can see that we have two shelves. Uh, these metal shelves are from Bass Equipment, as is this metal shelf right here. I forgot to mention it, but this is a plexiglass shelf I made myself, uh, which is why it doesn't look too great, <laughs> but it's functional, so that's good enough. But these metal bass pans are awesome. I have the three inch stainless steel ones, and I've had them for a few years, and they are just amazing. They're still just as good as the day I got them, and I definitely recommend them for anyone who's looking for a solution to the Critter Nation pans being just short and plastic. So, as you can see inside, we have a space pod with some paper towel in it. Then we have a little food bowl with some oxbow. And then in the back, we have a tissue box with some hearts on it. Uh, and above that, we have another hammock. And then right to the right, we have yet another hammock. And this hammock leads up to the hole that goes to the upper unit. As you can see, that is the upper unit right there. Uh, that's the hole the rats can go through. And then in the back, we have a double-decker shelf. This is a closet shelf from Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, or any hardware store. I got mine second hand, but you can find them at those hardware stores in the kitchen section. So these work really well for many levels in the cage, and if you find a clip on some felt like I do, then you don't have the risk of your rats getting their feet stuck between the bars. So I'd always recommend binder clipping on some sort of fabric just to help prevent any sort of injuries. So moving down below, we have a box with a little door cut into it, and that's also been covered in tissue paper. Then we have a few chew toys, and then another box covered in tissue paper, and then another box, this one covered in wrapping paper, and then another box covered in tissue paper, and then a hammock, which is currently being pulled up by the box, uh, which is because the box has been moved. I'm always a little scared to stick my hand into here without looking first because I do have a cage aggressive rat called Banana and I do not want to be bitten. So I'm not going to be sticking my hand fully into the cage because I do not want a rude surprise. Um, Banana is a good rat. She just, uh, she has her quirks. Anyways, moving to the second shelf, we have another box of tissue paper on it, a bowl with some oxbow in it, and then I have the top of a Rodney Space Igloo, which I have hung up using C-clips because it turns out they actually have holes on the bottom to attach them and that lets you hang it up like a hammock. So I think the rats are really going to enjoy that because they really like the space pods and that's made of the same sort of material. And finally in this unit we have this wheel. This is a 15 inch Chen Sprint. It's from Exotic Nutrition and it's a really awesome wheel. A bit heavy and a bit expensive but it has lasted me for many years now and the rats absolutely love it. It's a perfect size for them. It's very easy to clean and it's just really sturdy so I really like this wheel. And now I have to go get Blueberry before she gets out because someone's trying to make an escape. What are you doing, Miss Bloops? What are you doing? Why isn't the camera focusing on you? It says, no, I will not focus on the little escape bean. Okay, so now we have the third unit. And the third unit is uh, a bit of a mess. So first of all, we have these double-decker shelves, which again are kitchen shelves with some fabric binder clipped on. Uh, the fabric again is felt from Michael's and Michael's is a craft store. Uh, and then here we have another metal bowl. This is also from Ratty Box, and it just has more oxbow in it. And then there's also a few chew toys. There's one loofah here, one loofah over here, and then this little sad looking wooden chew toy, which the rats have mainly chewed up. Olive, I'm watching you. What are you doing? Oh, that was pretty good. It's like climbing a ladder. I see you guys. I see you guys. <laughs> I know that Olive is going to try to keep climbing. Don't do it, Olive. Don't do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so getting back to this cage, on this side we have another shelf. This one has some purple felt binder clipped on. And then we have another of these little water containers, which again are just bird food bowls. And they just attach to the cage and they have this little hood over it, which means that it's hard for the rats to get dirt in there and it keeps the water clean for longer. Uh, and then moving inside, we have another Rodney Space Igloo. Then we have a rock. This is technically a pee rock. It's for the rats to pee on if they want, but really I just use it in the cage for them to use as another texture um, because I don't really do litter training. So it's just there for the rats to enjoy in any way that they want to. And I'm looking at Miss Olive going up there. I'm watching you, Olive. I'm watching you. Don't do something. Don't do it. Don't do it. Gosh darn it. Uh, I have to get her. I have to get her. She says, I'm an old bean, but I still have that adventurous spirit. No, the younger bean still has the adventurous spirit too. Okay, so 
Going back inside, we have the four ounce Oasis water bottle, another one right there, next to another Hotel Rats foraging toy. And then in the middle, we have this 20 gallon tank, which is acting as a dig box. It is filled with crinkled paper, and that's really great because the rats can burrow down in it and make some nice burrows. And it's a lot less messy and requires less upkeep than dirt, while also being just very easy for the rats to create burrows in. Uh, it holds burrow shape really well. So I really love this stuff and the rats are always sleeping and digging in it. So they really love it. And I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a dig box material, but you don't want to do dirt. So inside the dig box, we also have a tissue box covered in more tissue paper. And then we have a space pod, which the rats have decided to put some crinkled paper inside. And then we have another space pod hanging from the ceiling. This one has some paper towel left inside it. I put paper towel inside all of the rats things so they can kind of nest with it, but they tend to take it out and use the crinkle paper most. So I think they have a pretty clear preference. Uh, then moving up, we have a bunch of these bird ropes. I've had these for a while up here and the rats really love running around on them. It's kind of like a huge net across this part of the cage and they're always using it to get from one part to the other quickly. And then I also have a hammock up here. This is again, a piece of pre-cut fabric uh, felt in this case from Michael's and I've just hung it up with some C-clips. And then moving to the back, we have a eight ounce Oasis water bottle. This is one of the bigger ones that they make. And I have this one in the cage pretty much all the time. And next to it, we have a chew toy, which I just made from some cardboard and some corn husk. So that's what that is. And I think that's pretty much it. There really isn't too much else in the cage to look at. It's already pretty crowded. So I don't think I need to add anything else. Rats do love a crowded cage, but obviously they need room to get around. So I don't want to overstuff it. I feel like it's already pretty full. Uh, and the rats definitely enjoy getting around and exploring everything so it's always kind of nice to see them explore a new setup oh my gosh you little beans what are you doing sorry you didn't get to see all the other rats they are just sleeping right now so I'm just gonna let them be and we'll see when they come out for free range it's actually kind of nice not having all the rats running around during these cage tours just because it makes it a little easier for me to juggle recording with trying to keep the rats out of trouble anyways that is it for this cage tour I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I did for this Valentine's Day theme. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys next time. Let me go ahead and get Miss Olive down. Yeah, that's right, you little turd. Okay, so that is pretty much it. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my God, look at the beans. Oh, the sweet beans.